Most of us are familiar with the term plagiarism, but some people may be unsure what constitutes plagiarism in terms of the law. One way to think about plagiarism is as a form of kidnapping. You're basically stealing the ideas of somebody else and using them as your own without acknowledging that that's, that's what you're doing. So it's like body snatching, using somebody's work as yours. A good definition of plagiarism is to take someone's words or ideas and present them as your own, without proper acknowledgement. Plagiarism not only covers the theft of words and phrases, but also copying specific lines of argument, the order of the ideas presented, storylines, characters, and the production of art or creative media developed from existing works. It covers computer software, designs, music, images, and published or unpublished documents, or other print and electronic media products. Well, there are different forms of plagiarism, and they're all slightly different, but they amount to the same thing. There's direct copying. You simply take a bit of text from somebody else's work and you put it in your own work, word for word. Then there are different kinds where you use some of the same words and fill it in with others. It's still plagiarism. Even if you take the ideas of a published author, rewrite them completely with the same concepts and present that as your own work. In every case we're talking about, the fact is that you haven't acknowledged them as somebody else's ideas. We're talking about plagiarism and they're all considered uh, equally bad. Sometimes people are plagiarising and they don't realise it, that there isn't in fact any intent. They might be plagiarising accidentally, where they've taken somebody else's work, put it in their own work, but forgotten where they got it from. And there, the cause of plagiarism, you might say, is, is a lack of education or a lack of understanding of what the rules are when it comes to uh, writing and publishing. It adversely affects the plagiarist too. By copying others, one's research skills fail to develop. Learning and knowledge acquisition are limited, the capacity for independent thinking is reduced, and it erodes self-confidence. Plagiarism is intellectual fraud, a breach of ethical standards, and an injustice to the person who's worked hard in their field.